Hello, this is Hans van RG Web Design, and this uh, video is about uh, conditional visibility in Webflow. Uh, what do I mean by this? And that is when you have uh, a page that contains a collection item, so they get their info from a uh, CMS. In this case, this is uh, a blog post, and this blog post contains all kind of information, and you want it on plate. Or dispo of displayed on one page, then you can do this uh, in this way. Here you can see I have a title, I have a, a category, and I have a small uh, description of the blog. This is a filter unit, so it's but it's not part of this uh, video. So, uh, what we are concentrating on is this category: e-commerce and date. And here yes, it is for 9 20, 20. That's this video is about. What do you see here on this block? Block 10 of 10 things nobody told you about being a web designer. You can see there is a date displayed. On the first block, there's no date. Okay. Uh, and this is dynamically uh, converted, so it's nothing I typed in myself. This is all done by Webflow. What do I mean? As we can open the blog post, the first one that you just saw on top of the list has no date. And indeed, when we look at uh, the CMS, there's no date. When we look at the second one, there is a date, and that's displayed. Okay, that's what we want, and that's what we get. Okay, going back to the page. And how do I did this? Okay, let's see. We have here the date block, and when I look in the designer, I can see I have uh, created a date block with two text blocks. The first one contains uh, the text date and the second one is the date of the block okay you can see that here uh, you can see this here on the uh, right side here we can see this is date and block and the format I want to display it in and the first one is not set by the CMS but typed in myself so I typed in the word date and then I give it a conditional visibility. And how do you do this? You click on this little plus sign and you get a menu. And here you can choose from the CMS and uh, the thing that is displayed after the date is the date of the blog post. So I have to do here date and block. I choose that one and then I set is set. So when this field is set, this one will display. If this field is not set, this one will not display. Okay, and that's working very fine. So when you have uh, a blog post or another page that contains a, a, a CMS, you can filter uh, the fields by this way. This, this two times now that's a little bit much but here you can say I've entered a text block where they typed in here on this page so not in the CMS itself and then I uh, linked it to the conditionals on the date and block and is set yeah okay then I have another one here that's also uh, feed by the CMS and that's the category but there's a little difference between these two this is a nested collection list and when you get a collection list that is nested then this trick won't work I tried this I gave this as you can see is yet another uh, text block and as you can see it's not set here but when I now try to give this a condition by name, 
then it out only says is equals or does not equal. So it's not filtering on the set item. But that's not possible. Maybe uh, one of you uh, know how to fix this, but I didn't uh, figure it out how to get this working. So when you get the in the uh, standard <laughs> collection list, then you can filter the visibility from the block itself, and in this case, the oh wrong one, this one, you can uh, filter this block when this block is set. So that can be very handy in some cases because otherwise you would see on the page uh, a date block with no date behind it and that's a little bit sloppy. So in this case you can filter the date block also. Yeah? Okay, I hope that made made a little bit of sense. Uh, that's it for this time. Okay, see you. Bye.